What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. Alright guys, so some of you have seen the rewards for the showdown that's happening currently right now. Uh, cheer me on. I hope I win, obviously, uh, then I can showcase some more Akuma, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to actually talk about showdown itself and help you guys develop proper teams in order to get in there and have the best amount of success. So I'm going to just quickly show this uh, to my boy Chang. I know, I know you mess messaged me on... Um, on the comment section and you were like good luck in your match I said the same thing I'm just gonna show our match real quick in terms of the power difference between us and where we are and how I may have ended up beating you in it uh, you're just an example I'm sorry I don't mean to pick on you in any way shape or form but let's go to go to our match real quick so let's go to zone one so I fought wise agent from jury duty okay from server one so this is the level difference between us okay and everything's equalizing this so keep that in mind right I'm level 389 maybe 390 now uh, and he is level 415 I believe okay so 415 across the board um, amazing guy by the way and if you look at the comparison between us 390 right so pretty substantial difference now again that's not gonna matter in showdown because they equalize the levels everybody gets the same level but where it does matter is the FS and all that other stuff that you have your gear etc right <clears throat> now what I want to do is I want to explain to you guys how to build the proper teams in order to beat your opponents now it's going to be a lot of rng based on who you're fighting and if they have the same mentality as you but uh, what i found the most successful way to beat opponents is creating three really fast cleave teams okay specific and if you don't know what cleave team is i'm going to explain it to you as best i can okay i might be outing myself here a little bit but here it is okay so the first team i created was a very fast team all right this one specifically is geared towards healing and cleaving with bison with this c3 and providing as much damage possible with the front target with with Kami. So, this team set up as follows. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Kami to single target damage to, to create shock. So it's a dot. I get a heal from Elena whenever I need it. This is just a backup, of course. And then she also does battle dance whenever she heals. So she sixty percent chance to come in, attack up everybody. Now this is where it gets the more, more important part. Is B Zangief will obviously do the 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 whirlwind cyclone to vacuum everybody in, stun and trap, and then. Uh, Bison will do his C3 Psycho Crusher. Okay, so this is meant to be a cleave team and a, and a stun team, and it's extremely fast because I have B Zhang here to make sure I go first, and you also need to make sure that your assists also help you put out as much DPS as possible. So for Chun Li, she gives crit damage to the to the user, and if she if Cami dies, Bison will be my next in line, and he'll get the tarot cards from from Rose. Okay, so. Two A O two oh, sorry one A O E two A O E here sorry and one single target damage you still want to get the front line out of the way plus a debuffs and then you want a little bit of a healer okay so your first team should be kind of set up in that regard you want a healer you want two A O E and one single target damage with good assists okay now assists are obviously going to matter a lot but this team has Bison so I didn't give my best assist to him we're going on, we're going on to the second team okay we'll talk about them all right so here we go same same setup again okay here is my A O E what with Fashion Blanca. All of his specials are AoE, whether it's his combo 2 or his uh, his um, combo 1, or if it's actually no, combo 1, I think a single target, but his ultimate is what you want to go with. So that's why I have the set ultimate here. I have support in healing and, and uh, damage reduction with, with uh, Fashion Sakura. I have AoE with Jury with her C3, that's what you see here. Again, the same kind of setup, right? You want the same AoE at the end. And then I have single target damage again, as well as uh, interrupts and um single target dps so very very important now fei long here specifically here for one reason that's to up my damage with the fashion blanca because he does 12 percent more fire damage and that debuffs from fashion blanca is huge burn does quite a bit of damage in pvp uh and also combat gal is there specifically if it switches to jury and he has the ability to dispel a buff and heal uh, at the same time and also do thunder damage so very very important team setup here but again same concept right um every time you Every time you set up a team, you want to make sure that you have your two AoEs and you have one single target and one one um, buffing or slash healing unit, all right? And again, you want to make sure your assists are complementing your main DPS. In my case, my main DPS is Vashon Blanca, so Blanca is going to have Fei Long's um, 
a buff for his flame damage. All right, so very important, guys, to remember when you keep that in mind. If you're if you're struggling with this concept of like where assists go, etc., go back and look at the spreadsheet or the assist video I created to the plus fives, and you guys might get a better idea of who belongs where and on what unit. And there, you just gotta play around with it. But cleave teams are always the best teams, but you still do need a single target damage unit in the game in order to support you. Okay, going on to team three now. So this team is a little bit different. And the reason why it's a little bit different is because you have MH, MH Cannon here, okay? MH Cannon causes a whole slew of problems for opponents. Now, what I what you would want to do in here is you can actually, sorry, let me go back here, guys. For this one specifically, hold on, where is it here? You don't want Rose. My apologies, guys. You actually want Sea Viper there. And the reason why you want Sea Viper in there is because, is because she does a... Uh, assist every time bison does a combo or he does a super combo she'll come down and hit the rear target first uh causing the seismic hammer damage so she's an assassin on the back end so you want to definitely have her there for bison or for anybody who's going to do super combos really cami would be probably a better fit here but she doesn't really last that long because she'll start the super combo and you can hit right away but the combo with bison will still trigger her anyways to jump out and perform her skill all right going back to this team sorry so image can brings, brings a little bit of a different vibe to this whole fight right his job is simply to knock back combo, 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 combo. He triggers a combo every time, which in turn triggers Cammy to come out uh, twice, right? So I have him actually going in here with the super so he can get the physical resist. I have Zangief here to take damage. And the reason why Zangief is in the front rather than another AoE unit is because Zangief can actually negate passive. So if a bison is in the front, Zangief will take him out. He, with the six car passive and his FS3, sorry, FS... FS um, is FS30. If he takes 16 hits, I believe, he'll do his Banishing Flat, which is what negates the, the damage. He'll set up and go like this. This, 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 and this. And this will give you what you want with AoE, right? So you have the AoE from Dalsum. You have Mad Ryu for his Dispel of the Shield, which is important because a lot of people do use Able or Shelter. He will Dispel that Shield. MH Chem will trigger his combo, plus Kami coming down. And then Zangief will do Banishing Flat. So if he gets hit 16 times, he does Banishing Flat, which does a, a lot of single target damage, but most importantly, it removes the passive. So this team is a little more unique than the typical AoE, but if you want to build the AoE team, remove Zangief, keep Ken in here, put in Guile, and Guile will just pretty much AoE the crap out of everything. So that is another option, and there's other options as well for AoE as well, uh, obviously, but Guile would be one of the best choices for PvP because he does two AoE moves. He does his ultimate move, and he does his, um, his C3. So you can definitely pull out a lot of damage using that. Or if you want to need an assist, you can put in Street street Poison, have a Charm as a C2, or have yourself a buff to increase your damage. But PvP-wise, I don't recommend that, so stay away from that if you can. Uh, realistically, one of the better bets would have been to do this instead here, where you put Rose in the lineup, right? And that way you have this lineup here. But if you, if you are fighting opponents in your bracket and you kind of see their lineup and you know they have a Shield user then Emery is a better option to just dispel. But Rose would be a better option for survivability. So you can do a couple different things here, but at the end of the day, you're still going to get your AoE from Dalsim. And Ken technically does an AoE because his combo does trigger multiple hits on multiple enemies. And then you have your tank here, and then you have your trigger with Kami, and your buffer. Okay, so that's kind of how you want to set it up, guys. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Whoever's fighting me next, you're probably going to, if you do watch my channel, you're probably going to know what I'm doing now. But hey, I mean, you still get, you, we still got to go through it. And... You can see here, if you do the replay, there, this is how it ended up being, right? So these are our teams against each other. So you can see here, I've got more, I've got way more AoE here. He's got only two, yeah, I mean, technically Rose is an AoE, but not wouldn't be using it as AoE. He'd probably be using it as a, as a buffer, where my two AoEs would have worked better here. And another thing to note is don't always put your Bison team in front for your attacking or defense. That always doesn't work. My my case, I'm good with it, but be careful with that. Here you have one, he has, he has one AoE with Bison, but I have two Cleaves. So Cleave team wins here. And then third, he has he has two AoE here, and I've got one AoE, but I've got Ken. So I probably have a little advantage here. If we take a look, I'm curious to see who won this match. This one here is the most important one to me. So I thought it was an accident. Hold on. Let's go. Actually, we can probably check stats. Probably easier this way. Uh, where does it show win versus, so which one was this? So this one was a win on my end, for sure. And this one was maybe a win on his end because of the bison. But what, I mean, we can t take, the, take a look at that one later. And this one for sure was a win. So there you go. There you have it. That MH Ken pretty much shook, shook everybody. And that's what I meant. Like, he, he's, he makes the team unique. You don't need a cleave team with, with Ken in there. 
he's just so damn strong, it makes it a lot easier to deal with. Alright guys, there you go. I hope that helped you out. So remember, two AoE, one single, one buff, or healer. That's usually the formula that will give you the best success. Don't always just put your strongest fighters in and just mishmash and hopefully you get somewhere with it. That won't work. You do have to have some strategy. And speed, 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 speed. Have your fastest characters in there because if you're going last, and make sure each row has a fast chant user. And not in the tag section, in the front three users, okay? Because if you don't have that, your your so the tag person doesn't the fast chant won't work. So on the speed part of it, right? They get cut in half. I think their stats or something. Um, so make sure you have it in the front line and you have one fast chant on every unit, uh, at least one unit. Sorry for each line, and then you have uh, quick units or you can attack first. Usually whoever attacks first will end up winning uh, based on team comp, obviously, and if there's a bison in there. All right, guys. Pain. Hope the video helped. Have a wonderful day, guys. We'll talk soon.